what's up guys creek diggers coming to you monday evening me and Corey wellens is in our new kayaks out here at uh savage dam reservoir testing them out and it is absolutely a blast absolutely a blast <laughs> so check this out i'll show you around a little bit so we're just out here testing our kayaks out here's Corey's. They're almost identical, but just a little bit different. His is the, uh, what's yours called? I don't remember. Uh, mine's the Strike X, XLT, and his is something else, XLT, the Quest. His is the Quest XLT. But, I mean, these are absolutely awesome. You can see possibilities are endless now as far as, like, finding bottle dumps and stuff. Sun's starting to set. We got about an hour. We're just going to mess around. I'm going to take some photographs. and We're just going to play around in the lake for a little bit. And then one day this week, we're going to go to the river dump and go exploring. and All kinds of cool stuff we can do now. But all right, guys. We're just going to mess around for a little bit. See us. Guys, this is absolutely an incredible experience. Highly recommend you get yourself a kayak. Is it? Yeah, it is warm, isn't it? We just uh, had to go back in and wait it out in the truck for a minute. A big storm rolled up on us, but it's past now. and We had so much fun. We came right back out. The view's absolutely incredible. So peaceful. We have the whole entire lake to ourselves. Big shout out to Dunham's in Cumberland, Maryland. They're having a sale on all their kayaks right now. So definitely go down there and get you guys one if you're in the area or if you have a Dunham's nearby. Absolutely incredible. Just beautiful scenery. We're just exploring all the little coves and stuff. So now we're going to go back here in this back cove. See back. Look at this view, guys. Right as the sun's starting to set. There's a monster, monster snapping turtle right there. Trudging his way across the shallower part there. Right center frame, you can see him. But the view's absolutely incredible right there. What's up guys? Creek Diggers coming to you. Uh, Tuesday afternoon. Me and Corey Wellens is out here on the Potomac River. 
We're about an hour upstream of our river dump, and we just put the kayaks in, and we're actually just going to go down the river and, and search for a uh, possible another dump. I figured out how to hook the tripod to the front of the kayak, so it should be an interesting adventure. But I'm going to flip you around and uh, show you exactly what I'm looking at. Guys, we are going down the Potomac River at the moment, and you can see <laughs> it is absolutely beautiful. It's like 95 degrees out here, though. Let me turn so you can see Corey Wellens. We're getting ready to go underneath of a little bridge or a railroad trussle, actually. There that boy is. <laughs> This is really cool. Pretty much our first river experience on kayak, so I'm gonna record it. I'm gonna record it all. What is it? Yeah. All right, let's go check it out. We're gonna go up near the bank around this trussle and see if maybe they dumped a little bit somewhere. peaceful out here. Absolutely incredible experience. So right now we're basically just scanning the banks. You can see there's a kingfisher up there picking around for some crayfish probably. I see some tires under the water, some railroad ties. I've seen no glass or anything. Ooh, everyone a big fish. I don't know if you guys seen that on the camera or not. Yeah, there is. I just scared a big bass or something. I think that's what it was. There's some modern trash on the bank, plastic water jugs and stuff. Some ripples. <laughs> Corey's scared to death of the ripples, guys. I think we'll be just fine. Uh, I think we'll be just fine. You're looking at the exact same thing I am, which is pretty cool. I'm just going to show you the whole trip. I don't know if you guys are going to enjoy it or not, but. If we don't find any kind of a dump, there's a path going down right there, Corey. We can check that out. There is a three-way split up ahead too, so we're gonna have to decide which way we wanna go. going on a little kayaking adventure. Fellas and sister ladies. Nothing crazy happening just yet, but you never know when it will. You can see up ahead, we got a Go off to the left, maybe, or the middle, or the right. I'm not really sure which one Corey's wanting to do. I'd say probably stay to the right because it sounds like the road is over that way. Probably be our best bet. Really slow moving current right now, so just kind of drifting along. Waiting on Corey to catch up to me. We had chest day today. That was a lot of fun. We got some new uh, equipment in our gym. 
That was fun to use. Got a real nice pump going on. Now I'm going to turn the camera off for just right now. I'll turn you right back on when we get to some rapids. All right, guys, we're still just right here at the entrance of these uh, the three gauntlets. We want to figure out which one we want to go down. The problem is we don't know what any of them look like past the beginning. None of them. You can hear water running in the first one. I think we should go down that one. The second one you can see moving a little decent. And the third one over here on the right looks like it's real calm. All right, guys, we chose the middle because it's the widest, Corey said. We're going to find out if that was a wise decision or not. We're all, looks, like, looks like we're only in about three feet of water at the moment, which is plenty. We just don't want to get too shallow. Yeah, I think three feet. Yeah, it is. Absolutely. I don't know. We're going to go down and find out. <laughs> oh, man. It's our first set of rapids, too, guys. So, wish us luck. First set of rapids. Here we go. We are going to drag a little bit. Definitely. Definitely going to drag a little bit. Nope. I'm going down, bud. Here we go, guys. Wish us luck. Oh, yeah. Watching me to see if I make it first. We're doing really good though. One rock so far. Looks like we picked a good path. I ain't seeing no bottles or nothing. I'm scanning the glass on the banks. But we're moving out. We're moving out pretty nice right now. I think I'm doing too bad for my second time ever in my life in a kayak. Oh, look at that pretty bird. It's a hawk or something. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Oh, yeah, we're moving out. I love it. Absolutely awesome. <laughs> Woo! Just don't want to get sideways. I know that means. Yeah! Come on, fella! Looks like I'm going to go right in between these two rocks. Oh, yeah. Perfect. I'm going to go just in between these two rocks. No, stop. Hit a little bit. No. Oh, there was a little one. <laughs> I haven't lost none of my gear, so we're doing good so far. Oh, man. Flip you around and show you. Here we go, guys. This is so much fun. Ripping down the river. I don't know if y'all can see him back there or not. Dang, he's way back there. He's scared to death. Terrified that boy is. We're just going to drift. We're going to come down here and drift to a stop and uh, wait for him to catch up to us. <laughs> awesome absolutely incredible that was fun even hitting the small rocks and stuff that was a lot of fun we're just gonna kind of spin around in this little hole right here wait for him to catch up to us Way back there. Let me get turned around and I'll show you 
So we had discussed this earlier about rowing upstream. He had said, oh, there's no way possible to do that, man. We can't do that. So check it out, guys. I'm now rowing reverse upstream towards Corey. He said it couldn't be done. I just wanted to show him. I bet him $100. He wouldn't bet me. But... <laughs> We're going to prove him wrong right now. He'll catch up. <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> Who can't row upstream? Who can't row upstream? <laughs> Tell me, boy. Start back around. Look at that. Pass the boy upstream, AB. These, th these things will rip. Downstream, upstream, I don't care. How was that? Did you hit any rocks? I slid across like three. It wasn't bad at all. I loved it. I'm ready for stage yeah, four. Fine. Stage four ready? Let's go back up and go down the first set. I think they're just shallow. You think we're already at the dump? I don't think we're close. No. There's a dump right there. Somebody threw a refrigerator or something in. Or a, ca or a chair, it looks like. We'll definitely go over here and check the bank area out a little closer. I'm also scanning in the water, too, looking for any kind of shards, pottery, anything like that. Covering ground quick, though, we are. We were walking this by foot. Oh, my gosh. It'd be an all-day trip. For sure. Or he's gotta stop and get some selfies now. <laughs> First storyline. <laughs> oh man, he's funny. Just scanning the banks. Looking for any kind of glass shards or pottery or bricks or ash or anything that looks not natural. That's what I'm looking for. Just drifting. And if you guys spot anything along the way that I might have missed, definitely let me know because this is, you know, a fairly easy trip. It was only seven dollars. Put our kayaks in on this lady's property. She was really nice. We're coming around a bend right now. It looks like in the river. So beautiful and peaceful out here. I don't know if you guys follow uh, Aqua Chigger, but check out his latest video. He just got attacked by a rabid, a rabid beaver. My gosh, I couldn't believe that thing chasing him through the, through the uh, grass and stuff by the river. That was nuts. Never seen nothing like it. Very, very cool though. There's another bridge down below us here. Cars driving over it. I believe that's Spring Street Bridge, if I'm not mistaken. And here's where the three paths that we could have chosen come together. We're gonna ride over here and check them out, see if we missed anything. Nothing on this middle when we came down. It's just a, just a little stream. So let's go check out this one over here. And there's a nice steep bank over there, so that definitely would have been a good one to go down for sure. Let's turn and look up it for a minute. See that nice deep steep bank over there? That'd be a definitely a good one to go down and check out. People always like to throw stuff over banks and cliff sides. There's a big, huge rock cliff up above me. Let me turn back around here and show you. Red dump up in there. I'm 
looking for it. I don't see anything at the moment. I see some steep, steep cliffs up above us. Real steep. I'm in some real shallow water too. I gotta be careful. I'm gonna get stuck out here. No, it's it's about the same we came down, but it looks more promising for sure. Right along that cliffside the whole way. You can see all the, uh, the rock cliffs coming right down into the water, guys. Just an absolutely beautiful place. Yeah, this is a pretty nice hole right here. It's getting kind of deep. I see some fish swimming underneath of me. Yeah. There's a piece of sign or pottery I just went over top of. Yeah, that's a nice hole right there. Right where I'm at, it's getting deep too, man. It's getting deep right here. A little bit of glass at the bottom of the cliff right there. I think it's modern though. Now over here's catching my attention. You guys see that? See that mound over there? Let's go check that out. Might just be some nice fishing trash. I think it is. Some nice fishing trash. Yeah, just modern fishing trash. But I don't know. We're gonna keep. We're gonna just gonna stay on this side for a minute. And check it out. There's a trailer or a camper or something on the other side. Of it. There's some more trash right here. You can see. Looks more modern stuff again. Looks like somebody might have been digging there. Coming down the bank, slipping. Yeah, just a little fishing spot. There's some glass over here. I do see where somebody looks like somebody might even have dug a hole. Let's go check this out. You see that right there? What's that look like to you? I don't know. I'm, I'm rolling up on it now. There is some glass. Oh yeah, absolutely, somebody dug here. There's pottery pieces. I'm gonna take you out of the holder for a minute. Pottery pieces, mason jar seals. There's a broken ketchup. There's a uh, blown and mold cork top medicine. And you can see like somebody was just, you know, right, there, right in there messing around, dug a little, little hole. Don't look like a lot of stuff came out, but definitely dump. Definitely, definitely dump. All right, guys, I'm going to get back on the river and we'll see you right back. All right, we're back on the water, guys. You can see here's a bridge we're coming to real slowly, like. I'm just scanning the bank over here still. Because we're definitely some kind of a dump area going on. Let's go over here and check this out. I see something on the bank that's catching my eye, catching my attention. I see shards of crocs and stuff in the water. Oh, I see a sign, man. Yes, I do too. I swear it is. Yeah, in the water. 
I gotta reposition myself and find it again. I went right over top of it. Yeah, don't, don't get to it yet. I'm gonna make video from where I'm at. Hold on, I gotta find it again. I went too far. I think I see it. I gotta turn back around. <laughs> You're going in a circle. Where'd I see that? Dang it. It sure looks like, it sure looks like one, man. I don't see it at the moment, no. I'm scanning for it. Dang it, where was I at when I went over top of it? I lost it. I was on the other side of this tree, wasn't I? Yeah, I came down this tree limb right here. Just like this. Then I said, let's go check this bank out over here to the sea something. So right over top of the branch. Right into here. Dang it. Is that it? tricks on me but look up here on the bank look at the big pieces of crock and stuff right here it's a monster piece of the crock right there there's all kinds of metal and glass right here sticking out of the bank there's all kinds of broken crocks and stuff over here Corey yeah there is even in the water there's broken crocks and stuff See, all of our dump stuff right now is down at our other hole. So we're just kind of surveying right now. Look right here, here's another spot. Looks like somebody might have been digging along the river. Got all kinds of stuff going on in the bank. Crop pieces. Mason jar pieces. Oh yeah. All down through here is dump. All down through here is dump. Okay. Got medicine jars, milk bottles sticking out. My gosh. Yeah. So there's definitely more dump up here that we have not dug yet, guys. You can see all over the banks is glass. Very, very cool. I don't see anything full sticking out that I can just grab up there. I've been looking. Even on the bottom, you know, like a crop or something to roll out of the bank, maybe. I do see old tires and, and wood and stuff like that. But... Nope, let's continue going down the stream. Let's get it. Broken stuff everywhere. I think Corey's getting scared again. Let's go over here and see what he's doing. Sneak up on his stealth mode. You scared to go down any further or what? No, it's really nice. Oh, yeah, it is. Dude, there's dump, there's crock pieces everywhere over there. Milk bottles. What is it? 
bass. It is really nice and shady over here. We going down the right side or the left? I don't know. The right side looks shallower, but shady as can be. I don't think that's possible. No way. It feels nice. It's a lot colder than that lake we were in yesterday. I'm going to go down the left side. It looks deeper to me. There's all kinds of pottery and stuff laying all over the bottom. Big piece of cable sticking out of the water. Let me hit that. Go around that. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, this is good, man. Right back out into the deep water again. Look like the dump goes over to the left anymore. It was like up above the bridge. Now that we're down below it, I ain't seeing it. Looks like we got some more rapids to contend with. A little set of rapids we're coming up on, guys. Definitely gonna hit some rocks. Here we go. Let's slip around and see if we can see. Oh, there's a nice beach area right over here. Check this out, guys. spot right there too have a nice picnic looks like a good fishing hole too let's turn around and see what Corey Wells is up to here he comes Pretty good this thing, man. 
Yeah. I think I'm gonna choose to go through the middle. The middle looks like the best bet right there, guys. Right in between that grass and that tree. Looks like the best bet right here. Let's get it. It's gonna try to turn me sideways, so. Piece of cake. There's one rock right there I need to miss. I did. Oh yeah, look at that. Ripping. Yeah, boy. <laughs> what do you know about that? See, y'all see how tough Corey is, but I have to do everything first to show him that it can be done. He wanted to get out and walk and carry our kayaks and stuff. Get that mess. Let's go around that mess. That looks gruesome. Is that what that is, a beaver dam? It's got like some nasty foam stuff all over it. There's dump. There's dump right there for sure. Let's go check it out. Stuff washing out of the bank like crazy over here. We're just gonna run aground for a minute. Check her out what we what we got. Oh yeah. Glass jars and all kinds of stuff over here, Corey. It don't look bad. I mean, it's it's definitely dumb. There's pottery, and here I'll take you out of the holder for a second. There's pottery. There's broken sodas. Huh? Oh yeah, absolutely. We'd slay fish, mason jar pieces, glass. There's a broken Dr. King's new discovery. There's a full bottle right here. I'm gonna try to get it. You guys see that laying right there? Let's get it with the uh They're all they all look to be blown in mold cork top medicines at least. Let's see what this one is right here. Is that a milk? We don't have no digging tools just yet, guys, so bear with us. Yeah, I'm gonna drag, my, drag myself over and uh, pick up a few things here. Where'd that one go I wanted to pick up? There I ain't quite to it yet. Yeah, there's like big pieces of toilets and stuff in here. The one I'm after is right there though, guys. Let's see if we can get it. Let's see if we can get it with the ore. There it is. There it is. We got her. Gonna float it right over to us. Look. Floating right over to us. There it is. Oh, it's a slick, slick hair tonic or something. You see bottles everywhere sticking out of the bank. There's a blob, broken blob. Do you? Try to get a video of it. All right, we're going to get back in the water and go some more. See you back. guys we're back on the river after a short little break checking out the spots we're not too far from our dump area now maybe half a mile you can see the uh, homeless camp that I first discovered when me and my buddy Billy came up here right there 
turn so you can see it as we go by. That's from a buddy Nick in Amberlift. Anything we can take out right? Very nice people. I don't know. If you want to, we can, Corey. It'll, it'll be easier to. That's fine. We can take the right. Hopefully it's not too shallow. I don't think it is. No, I think we'll be fine. We'll take the right. Hey, Nick! I don't think either one of them's home right now. They must be out gathering supplies. They got a real nice setup over there, though. But here we go. Corey wants to go to the right, so we're going to the right. Kingfisher over there. easy to stay straight in these things too guys you just drag your oar to the side and uh, just straightens you right out simple real simple to, to uh, use a kayak for sure highly recommend to anybody really you can go as slow as fast as you want to no it's not bad at all no Still like three feet where I'm at right now. It looks all right. Right there at the turn. See right, if you go straight on, you can kind of see our mound. We're not too far from, from it now. fishing trip. Got a horse fly trying to get me. Yeah, he's trying to get me again. Shoot. Get out of here. Run away. Ah. He ain't got me. That scum eater. Not a whole lot of bottles today, guys, but it was a lot of fun anyway. You can see I'm absolutely filthy. I got about nine bottles. I'll show them to you when we get back to the uh, boat ramp. We got away from that horse fly. He must have had a nest or something out there. But I'll go ahead and show you the rest of the trip anyway. We already done pulled off. We're down river a good ways. Almost back to our spot. What an incredible day it's been. Not a whole lot of stuff as far as finds go, but it was still a nice adventure on the water, exploring. Listening to some homeless guy up there that, I don't know if he was uh, withdrawing or what, but he was screaming about finding his keys and stuff. Some people down here around the corner fishing. You did? Yeah, pick a little thing Dang, man. Having a little, having a little picnic over here, they are. Some guys. Man. That's awesome to not have to carry anything back, though. I know. Absolutely. Really, really fun. I cliff Yeah, let's go check it out.
I think somebody's got a rope going from there. Mm -hmm. Somebody's going crazy up there. Hello. How you doing? How you doing? Awesome. <laughs> Absolutely awesome. Just want to get your ad when I get tired. You guys want some, some noise <laughs> What are you having a little party? Yeah. Somebody's birthday? No. <laughs> <laughs> that horse flies back, Corey. Yes, it is. It's trying to get me. Hey, thanks. It's trying to. I'm getting away from you. No way. You can take care of it. I almost did. I almost lost my bag anyway. I don't even have it tied down. Having a little party they are. <laughs> I'm trying to clean off. I'm filthy. And, huh? No, he left. He ain't bothering me right now. Let's go downstream a little bit. Yeah. It's real calm. We just passed our boat ramp, guys, mm. but that's all right. We're gonna get explored a little bit. We didn't get any digging footage, so I guess this video right now is just gonna be all kayak exploring. Which that's cool. Yeah. I think y'all enjoy this. Very peaceful. Even even a little party going on back there. It's that nasty foam stuff floating. There's a big crocodile over there. Imagine if we had them in here. And bull sharks. <laughs> like in the Amazon. <laughs> I'm gonna go down there about them power lines. But I ain't worried about no ripples. I'm trying to see about dumpage. I don't see any there. <laughs> Some drunk fella up there trying to get in on the party. You gotta love it when drunk guys try to hit on women. It's pretty uh, comical.
right guys well, we're gonna finish our evening out on the water and then we're gonna go grab a bite to eat and probably see you back out here again sometime this week thanks for watching see you look here guys we're doing some kayaking <clears throat> on a local lake and uh check it out Deer over here. There's a buck right there. Buck? Yeah, a buck. Little velvet four point. Beautiful. They're on the side of the lake feeding him and his girlfriend over here. <laughs> there he is. Nice. That's cool. Let me get a picture of that. You can see we're. Uh, out here on Jennings Randolph Lake today. And there's actually a town underneath of us. This is one of the deepest lakes in the United States. It goes 300 feet deep. We're just doing some exploring, maybe looking for a bottle dump. Just enjoying the uh, day. We're supposed to get blasted by a big storm this evening and into next week. So we're trying to take advantage of it and just get out and enjoy ourselves. But that's pretty. And that's pretty. Gonna keep on exploring. See if we see anything else cool. It doesn't get much more better than this, guys. Sitting out in the middle of a giant lake in your kayak. Just watching the sunset. Check that out. So beautiful out here. Not a soul in sight except for Corey Wellens. <laughs> and some deer. We've got about two hours of light left, so we can't be out here too, too long. But wow, what a view. Look at that, guys. Absolutely incredible. My buddy, uh, Dale Liebfried, is coming up on Saturday to dig with me at the river dump. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Looking forward to that. That'll also be on this video. But all right, guys, I'm going to snap some pictures and, uh, you know, just enjoy the evening. Oh, there is somebody else out there. Somebody on a jet ski over there. Ripping it up. There they are. Yeah, the, look at the water. How blue the water is. Just blue as blue can be. Cold, too. Deep, real deep. Probably in over a hundred feet right here where I'm sitting. Three hundred at the deepest point, wherever that is. But there was a town. There's a town called Shaw, Maryland, under this lake that they flooded long, long time ago. And we're just going around looking to see maybe if they dumped around the outskirts of it or anything. Two jet skis. Yeah, a couple of guys ripping on some jet skis. Looks like fun. Definitely have one of them one day as well.
last night's auction was absolutely incredible. Really appreciate each and every one of you that, uh, you know, take the time to come to our auctions and bid on our stuff. Just a great time. Look at the view out here, guys. Isn't that incredible? <laughs> Just sitting here in my kayak. Loving it. Loving life. Life is good. See you guys. What's up, guys? Creek Diggers coming to you Saturday morning, afternoonish. I'm out here with my buddy Dale. He came back down from PA to do some digging with us. And, uh, well, with me anyway, Corey ain't out here. It's just me and Dale. Let me show you what's up. So we're back out here at the river dump. You can see there's glass and pottery and stuff just scattered all throughout the creek everywhere you look. It runs up just past that little island thing in the water. We're actually going to attempt to start a new hole today. Me and Corey left off just right on the other side of this big monster tree. So me and Dale's gonna start a hole. You can kind of see how the, uh, the lay of the land, see how it kind of mounds up. It mounds up, mounds up. Then when you get past Dale, it starts kind of flattening down, flattening down, flattening down. We believe that's pretty much the start of the dump right there. So this should be somewhere mid. It's gonna be a lot of uh, roots we're gonna have to contend with. I got a, a, a root saw and stuff like that. We'll cut these out, but we're just gonna take this area out right here and uh, see what we can find today, guys. Hopefully we get into some good pockets of stuff. I brought the tripod and all that good stuff. so. As soon as we get everything cleared out and opened up, I'll turn it on and we'll do some live action. Stay tuned. Here we go. Guys, it's not full, but I think my buddy Zach's trying to tell me something about today. Check it out. You guys remember my buddy Zach, part of the Crick Diggers for a couple years, passed away last year. We've got a big uh, memorial auction coming up next weekend in remembrance of him. In his dad's yard, one of the very first privies me and Corey ever dug, I pulled a uh, William George. It's a crown top, blown in mold soda from Lona County, Maryland. I have the only one known to exist. Me and Dale's out here digging at the river dump today. And look at that, a William George. It is broken, but I think that's a sign from my buddy. Now, I do have a clay marble that I've pulled out. And a Dr. Drake's German Croup Remedy. Pretty cool. So, bottles are starting to come out. Bottles and marbles. You can see where I'm working at, just taking these uh, roots out and working my way back. And I got a nice, pretty nice thick layer right there. That's where that William George just came from. So hopefully something absolutely incredible comes out the hole today. Dale's working right here. He's uh, pretty much right on it. He should be getting into it real soon. See you guys right back. Guys, little update so far. Popped out a real nice uh, Chamberlain's Colic Cholera Diarrhea Remedy. A little different than the normal cough remedy at Des Moines. I got a nice tube med at Dr. Thompson's Eye Water from New London, Connecticut. I got a sweet little blown in mold Melanthi Bottling Works. You seen the German Croup Remedy. And then I got a Hires I ain't never seen before probably common but i've never dug one it's a slick and then it says hires on the base there see that blown in mold probably around the turn of the century and i believe this is a pistol with the handle broke off 
you guys tell me it looks like it has part of the trigger there if it is it's the number 15 of the year number 15 of the year pistol right there now i've been working this area over here you can see all the roots and stuff i've cut out it made me a little blind big old section of roots right there had to cut out but I've been working on them about an hour, hour and 15 minutes, something like that. And right here, I've got a soda, a big, big med, and something amber right there, possibly a Coca-Cola. But I'm gonna get the tripod out and set it up. We're gonna do some live digging. See you right back. All right, guys, we're back live. Where I've been working at, starting a new hole. And uh, we got three bottles showing get this piece out of the way for you got three bottles showing right here go ahead and get them big med soda something amber Stuff underneath that root right there. Going through the root. Starting to thunder off in the distance. Let's get a little chance of thunderstorms here throughout the day so hopefully it don't get too nasty on us she's wiggling a little bit but i can't budge her under that root right there shoot get this soda out of here i guess she's probably ready is a nice soda. Herring and Carpenter out of Cumberland, Maryland. Blown in mold around 1905-1910 era. That'll clean up real nice being in that sand down there. See what this big med is. Most of the time the big meds are slick, but occasionally they got some embossing on them. Here she comes. Slick. Ah. Just like I suspected. Big, big slick medicine cork top blown in mold. That would have been nice with the town on it. And then this amber one under here. I think it's just a beer running up into this root right here. See if we can get it out from the back side. Working right off the bottom. You can see that dark material down there. And then there's just sand on top of it. Most of the bottles are actually in the sand instead of that black material as a marble. Not in a marble, just some kind of a stone. <laughs> False alarm. I have pulled a marble today, though, so they are in this area. I've been cutting the roots back and uh, working my way back down on the bank. Not a large concentration of bottles yet, but you never know where that good, next good pocket's gonna come from.
Big old pile of burn, burn stuff down there. Here she comes. Top broke off after all that. Just a German anyway though. There's about a million of them in here. See if there's anything else right yep that's right there there's another another beer it looks like we'll go ahead and grab it out live probably another german there's a lot of germans in here they must have tasted really good all kinds of some kind of a handle or something to uh Maybe some kind of a case or a chest. Who knows? That'd be awesome if that was in here. Chest full of gold. There she is. This one's a Cumberland Brewing. Cumberland Brewing out of Cumberland, Maryland. All right, guys, I'm going to keep working this little pocket, this little area. Hopefully something else full comes out. See you back. Check it out, guys. Dale just popped out a really nice, pretty uh, bitter quill mineral water in a light olive green. Nice, man. First pull. First pull for the Dalester. All right, guys. See you back. Guys, I'm not sure what I just popped out of the hole. Some kind of an insulator that I've not seen before. And a really nice beer. This is a Kaufman. Kaufman. It's got an eagle or something embossed on it there. Out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Nice beer. And this bad boy right here I just popped out. Check it out. I think it's a pony. But it says C and P Telephone Company. And it even has Telephone Company. Kind of like ghost embossed on it as well. Anybody know what that is? C and P Telephone Company. Awesome, awesome. Heck yeah. Gonna keep on working this really, really hard, hard packed stuff back here, but it's full of glass. See you back. All right, guys, the storm is upon us. It's lightening a little bit, getting ready to pour down rain. So we're gonna call it a day and get up out of here real quick on the fines. Blown and Mold Cumberland Brewing. Kaufman out of Cincinnati. Herring and Carpenter Soda. Two different variants of the Melamphys. Dr. Drake's Croup Remedy. I ended up with three clay marbles, a nice cobalt spool ink, a Chesapeake and Pennsylvania telephone company insulator a nice hires chamberlain's colic calera diarrhea remedy dr thompson's eye water those are my finds for today and then dale ended up with a nice bitter quill mineral water little light green wine, Dill's Balm of Life, a couple sauce bottles, flavoring extracts, Herring and Carpenter, two different ones, a couple slick meds, and a handful of smalls. He ended up with four marbles, a nice big shooter clay, amber stopper, a little chest piece, and a button, two buttons. Nice brother, man. No, no uh, emerald green inks this time, but you still have fun? Oh, hell yeah, man. All right, brother. 
All right, we're going to get out of here, guys. we got to get back across the river before it gets too, too bad storming on us. That's our progress for the day. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. See you next time, guys.